I shared this little pink tool kit. I shared it on Instagram and I shared it on TikTok. So I figured I'd share here. I like this little tool kit. I actually keep it here in the office because I have enough tools at the house. So what I like about this little tool case is that everything is in one spot. I think the star of this tool kit is beom, beom, this little pink drill. I have gotten so many questions about this little pink drill. It's crazy. It's by a company called Apollo and you can find it on Amazon. This particular kit that I have they do not have it anymore. I got this one from Target. I found one similar on Amazon and I linked it in my Amazon store, but the direct link will be in the description box down below. But they still have a pink drill. It's not the same one, but it's similar. I think it's actually better because this one is curved. The one that they have now has the ability to be turned and so it could just be straight or it could be curved. So that's pretty cool. And then you have your basic things in here. There's some scissors that go in here. I keep the tape measure and the scissors in the drawer because I feel like I always need to use these, especially if I'm trying to purchase something online and I need to see how tall something is. I just keep it there because it's easier to access. So it comes with a hammer. It also has a level with a magnetic strip, which I really like because you can really get projects done a lot faster. Comes with this little scraper, which is also nice. Um, you can use it to putty, a wall or if you are cleaning this is really good too i've used this when i've painted and didn't do a good job of putting down plastic and then there was paint on the tile floor this scrubs the paint off of the floor really 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 easily there's also some needle nose pliers in here which is really nice and i like to use these for different anchors that i put in the wall if i need to get it out all i have to do is stick this in there clamp it down and pull the anchor out and then I can use the other tool to cover the hole. It also has a wrench, a charger for the actual drill that's in here. It has these little baby clamps. I really haven't used these except for like wardrobe if I needed to like pinch something in, I don't know. But they have clips. There's a little box in here that has another level. Also came with like some screws as well as some little hooks and then some push pins and hardware to hang up pictures. So you can refill this with whatever you wanna refill it with. And then it also comes with a few bits, which is really nice. These are the hex nut bits, the ones that they have for the Allen keys, which is really nice. So if you're putting together some Ikea furniture, I think it's the 528s that you use and you can just you know drill it in with the hand drill instead of using that little key, causing yourself to get carpal tunnel or arthritis. <laughs> I really like this little tool case. Like I said, it's very convenient and it's cute because that's pink and who doesn't love pink? The next thing I want to show you is this cordless scissor device. What's really nice about this thing is if you're cutting, say anything really, cardboard or paper, wallpaper, you don't have to keep doing this and going all the way up, you just do one of these. And <laughs> it'll literally cut anything. I wanna show you an example. Okay, this is kind of a weird example, but this is like a tileette to clean your hands. It's gonna cut it very easily. Are you ready? <gasps> that was crazy. That was cool. So the little blades do the work. This is another way to get your projects done a lot faster. And it comes with a charging base so you can charge it up. And then it also has a replacement head. So if this gets dull, then you can just change it out. So yeah, this is really handy. And to keep the teeth guarded, there's this little plastic silicone thing and it just goes over it like that. Pretty cool. So if you're gonna be painting anything anytime soon, or if you're gonna be hanging up any pictures, you need these next two items. So this here is from 3M and this is so handy. This is a drywall spackle, a primer, putty knife, and sanding pad all in one, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna sand the part of the wall that you are going to be filling the hole in. So you just kind of sand that a little bit blow the dust off and then you squeeze this 
and you put a little dab of it inside of the hole and then you just you know use this other end and kind of make it smooth let it dry and then once it's dry I like to go back over this a little bit just to make sure it's really smooth. And then that's when this little thing comes in handy. And I think I have one, hold on. So this is a device to hold your paint. Let's just say you're painting a wall and you're finished and you decide to you know, hang some pictures. Well, nine times out of 10, you're going to probably put a hole in the wall that you don't necessarily want. And then you're gonna to need to you know, cover the hole. So that's why I like these products because you're able to sand the hole really quickly and then you can paint it really quickly using this little device. So this is the little cartridge that the paint goes into. And then you have a syringe. This is called slob proof, by the way. So you draw up some paint in the syringe and then you stick it inside of this little plastic dispenser and then you attach the little brush bend the little bottom clicks a few times until the paint actually comes up and then you just you know fill in the little dab of um spackle that you most likely use to cover the hole and this is really really nice because it saves you time from pulling out the big can of paint you know risking dropping paint somewhere and then you gotta use a big brush then you gotta clean the brush out and it, just for a little bitty hole we don't want to do all of that so this is really really nice and i just keep it in this little bag i actually purchased some shoes and i have them with me i can show them to you and they came in this bag so i was like oh my goodness i can actually reuse this inside of my equipment bag so i keep paint stirs i keep paint rollers drop cloth and the alex latex silicone for like paint projects Okay, and the last item that I wanna show you is this really cute pink bag that I purchased from Amazon. It is like the all time favorite girly girl bag when it comes to tools. This holds a lot of tools. If you wanna see me do a video on all the tools that I have, then give this video a thumbs up and comment tool review or tool haul in the comment section down below. So what I like about this is it has like a metal, this part is metal. So it closes almost like a medical bag and it has two pockets on the side, which is really nice because you, I like to put my frequently used things there. Uh, I'll just give you a quick tour of my pockets. I keep my safety glasses, something to mark on my pencil sharpener and my pencil, another pair of safety glasses, as well as my little slop proof pen. This is actually the white paint that I have in my living room. So I'm always doing something, making a hole. So I just keep it nearby. And then this is my laser. <laughs> I wonder, can you see that? <laughs> this is my laser measure which is really nice because when you're dealing with spaces that have really high ceilings you really need you know something like this because you can't get up there so this makes taking measurements a lot easier so the bag has two straps it has a really long one that can be detached and it also has um, the shorter one with the velcro and like i said it has pockets on the back which I really don't use but they're there and then it also has some pockets on the side which I don't use either I don't use the pockets on the side because I have so much stuff in here it's kind of hard to get to it but if you don't overstuff yours then you'll have access to them and yeah that is it oh I said I was going to show you the shoes okay don't judge my shoes okay because they're super comfortable I purchased these from Amazon and they are like so comfortable. These shoes came in black as well as this little ivory color, but look at the bottoms. They're so cool. <laughs> They're so cool. And I like the fact that they have all these little circles, like every part of your step feels so supported. And I like throwing these on with just basic stuff like a t-shirt and some jeans and the crossbody bag and I'm out the door. It has this little gold piece on the side, which is kind of cute. And I've had them for a while and they still look pretty good. When I say a while, I mean like two months, <laughs> but that's long enough to know if something is trash. So I really like these. Yep. And they come, like I said, they come in black also. And also 
I almost forgot this shirt came from Amazon. It's actually by Shein, but I ordered it from Amazon. I am not a huge fan. It does have a lot of strings, but the actual style of it is really cute and it wasn't super expensive. I feel like if I purchased this at like Express, they would have wanted maybe like 40 to 50 dollars and then they would have gave me a discount but this one was only like 20 something dollars so i think that's fair so yeah that's it that's all of my stuff that i want to show you that i like to use when i am working on any project again if you want to see me do a tool haul or a tool review then comment that down below and I'll make that video for you also. And also let me know if you knew about these tools. If you found something new, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, thank you for watching. In the meantime, while you wait on the next video, you can watch either this one or this one. All right, so don't forget, be you, be beautiful, be chic, and I'll see you on my next upload. Is this thing on? Testing, testing. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. If I see you well, it's not unusual to see me cry.